Okay, dudes, I'm out here in the garage, and it's, it is cold. Uh, well, anyway, got the little here going. Trying to make that box for my truck. This is the measurements I came out with. It was uh, 4 times, 14 times 19. 19 will cross, but I made it 18. And I made, instead of 14 out, I'm making it 16. So, but this fits under the seat really, really good. It's just made out that scrap uh, styrofoam that was here when we bought the place. And so, and this measurement here, I bought... Bought this, you got to be careful with it because it's not, it's not sharp or anything, but nine dollars to get the angles. I know I'm moving you around a lot. Let's see if it ain't. Well, I couldn't do it that way. An angle would have to go this way. And that angle is off. But just the angle of the truck, so you can see. I'll check it. I'll check it again. But you can see how much. But that's good because it's gonna make it a little bit bigger. Trying to get this one cut, this piece for a haircut, but I'm charging the battery. I'm gonna cut that. This piece right here is actually gonna be this piece. I know. They're two different sizes, but I'm going to have a top plate and a bottom plate, top and bottom, and this is going to be in the middle, because this is just made out of a, a quarter inch, it looks like, so, well, that's what I'm working on, and I got some subwoofers the other day, because I can't get much in under my seat, I do have an amp, I'll show you all that to you a little later. Let me get the tape measure here. I can get a six or a six and a half subwoofer. And yes, they do make six or six and a half subwoofers. But if you notice on that, it's only nine inches. But you got to take off inch and a half. Inner diameter. So and one of the sub that I have. It's six and a half. I'm just trying to show you. So it should fit. Now I'm going to put a port and stuff in the box. Right here it is. It's just a cheap for now. If I like this, I can make something better. But there it is. It's a 600 watt PAL, PAL driver from PAL. Dual 4 ohm. But don't look nothing like going on a on a thing soon here. You see how they got a quick disconnects. Let me see if I can find it. It don't have ease. It just got push ons. But I can solder the wire. First I gotta get a box built. And then so I put this in a box, just a cardboard box and made a little uh, a tube out of one of my old pill things. And the bigger one, and it sounded pretty good for what it was. I made it out one of these, something like this. So, but it, it's going to be a slotted box, a slotted one. So, all right, I'll show you some more later. Okay, remember, this is what I was trying to come up with, something like this. I cut this out, this part for the front where the handle went. I didn't put one in that because it fits without it. I'd have to change the handle a little bit, but I haven't did it yet. I still might do that. I went ahead and notched it back here where it was supposed to be. And I took the other piece that was coming out. It would have came out over here and moved it. Now this is just, uh, you can see there's tons of gaps and holes and needs all sealed up. And you're going to, I'm going to, that piece down here, I'm going to remake at. That's just a one I made real quick to see. Put this on. 
You can see a big gap in here. It's going to have to be sealed up, pulled together. But when I remake that one, this come closer, so. Because I'm going to shorten it just a hair on this side. And then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'll shorten it this way on this side. Then I'm going to take this and make sure it goes out a little bit. And this one out. So anyway, we're going to go see if it fits. Okay, I'm out here in the truck. Uh, this is the space. Can't see it that well. Under here and he under the seat was talking about. I'm gonna set you guys down one second. You can still see somewhat, and we're gonna see how good this thing fits. This is just a test, more or less. I got plenty of room to remake a new whole box if I have to. But that box is in there, guys. Alright, let me show you what I mean. It's in there. It's under the seat. You got plenty of room here a little bit. Seat still locks. If you see that, it's right flush with here. Wish it good. It went back a little further. Must be hidden in here. There's a bump there because the other side. I tried it on the other side a while ago without the other side in it, or my side piece, and it fit pretty good. Right here is where my amp's going to go. It's just all cheap stuff. Just to see how it's going to sound. Grab a flashlight here. Now that's all we against on this side. Yeah. It's all the way back. And the handle barely, barely hits, but it does hit. You can see I got a crack here. Let me try to. But that's all right, cause I, I might, I might actually just buy some uh, fleece and build these, then put the fleece around it and the fiberglass them too. That'd make it real good. So, all right, and go back in the garage, and I'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, we're back in the back in the shop here, and that fits where I nipped it there. That would have to be sealed in. All of it fits, but this I got to remake this piece. You can see it's broke here. Anyway, it's got to be a little shorter. So I can, I can pull this in or I got to make it longer. Because if I look at that. Now that is about straight there. Might have to remake a bottom piece here. Out of something. I think I got some stuff. I got plenty of wood. but If I made this one longer then I could. Bring it up here and shave it and get the veterinarian better. Because you got to remember this is all going to be wood glued together. Real, real good and everything. This crack. What I'll do. Is I'll go ahead and. Uh, screw, uh, put wood glue in there. And then clamp that. So. Let me uh, set you down a second. Set you on the paper towels here. While I'm talking to you. I'm going to pull out this huge, huge subwoofer. 
Now that's a laugh, guys. This thing ain't huge. It's six and a half inches across the metal. The subwoofer itself is only like six inches. No, I'm telling you wrong. Subwoofer with the foam is five and a half. But it's pretty cool for a little teeny subwoofer just to, uh, when you don't got a lot of money, I mean. If I go from there, there to there, five, it's five and a half. The outer diameter is six and a half. So I, five and a half, so it's it. Should be roughly, if I set this down here, half inch. Yeah, it's roughly a half, half inch, uh, half inch here on this round. But anyway, I need five and a half on the inside. And this is why you can't get a huge sub in here. So I'll put that in there. Look. That's ultimate. That's gonna be ultimate touching right there. But for what it is, it ought to sound all right. If it don't, I'll build a big box. I'll build a big box because I already got an amp and just put a speaker on, on the seat or something. I'll figure something out. But this came, this speaker here came off Amazon. It's called Amazon. I mean, it's called a Pal Pal driver. Six hundred watt. It's a dual form speaker, so you could you could rig this up. Your P, your uh, final would be eight or two, if I ain't mistaken. Or you can pair, do something else and make it fours too. But anyway, there she is so far. <coughs> oh, been out here too long. Start to see, and uh, just gotta make this look better. And this just, and this is only out of uh, a piece that was. 18 by 18 by 48 and then I cut as you see I cut a piece here that needs straightened up I can straighten up a saw but go ahead and turn our heater off here Make sure it's all the way down. That's my two dollar heater I bought. Bought in an auction. It works. It ain't the best. And man, got 189 updates that thing needs. That's what it's saying. Better not be putting Windows 10 on there. I'll be pissed. I'll have to redo it all. I hate Windows 10. Well, anyway, getting back to this, uh, I think this will be alright sitting out there. Uh, go ahead and unplug everything. I'll talk to you in a minute.